when these snakes are together, if another male comes up and, uh, and finds her, they will actually fight. But they don't fight like you might expect a rattlesnake to fight. We are out here today in the forests of Southern Ohio, and I'm putting together this very strange looking device because it will allow us to track rattlesnakes. We have been using radio telemetry to track timber rattlesnakes here in Southern Ohio for the last few years. And today we are gonna follow around a snake that we have been following since 2017. And her name is Hermione. And the way we're able to track these snakes is that we've actually surgically implanted transmitters into the snake's bodies and that these transmitters emit a radio signal that we can pick up with this device. And the antenna is what picks up the signal and relays it to this little thing right here, which is called a receiver. And we can actually punch in the unique frequency for that snake, just like you'd tune into a radio station and follow it. We get a beep, the signal emitted comes off as a beep, and that beep gets louder as we get closer to the snake and as the antenna points in the direction that the snake is at. So our goal today is to follow the signal through the woods and see where Hermione is. Oh, wow. Check this out. All right. So what we have here is Hermione, the snake we're trying to track. It's a little one right in front of me, if you can see right there. And then we have another snake, a bigger snake right up here. And I think what's going on is that these two are paired up because we're at the end of breeding season. The size difference between Hermione and this male is no coincidence. Rattlesnakes display sexual size dimorphism, a fancy term meaning that the typical adult size of males and females is notably different. In this case, male timber rattlesnakes can grow to be twice the size of a typical adult female. This size difference may exist because there's likely a distinct advantage to being a bigger, stronger male during the breeding season. When these snakes are together, if another male comes up and, uh, and finds her, they will actually fight. But they don't fight like you might expect a rattlesnake to fight. During 2018, we found our telemetered male named Cricket near a different male rattlesnake. And shortly after locating him, Cricket became agitated and slithered over to the other male. This was the beginning of an incredible combat display that few are fortunate enough to witness. Snake fangs are delicate and their venom is ineffective against one another, so they fight with brute strength. Larger, stronger males are more likely to win these battles and pass on their genes, so there may be selective pressure for larger body size and males. This display is almost like a snake equivalent to arm wrestling. Each individual attempts to wrap around and forcefully pin the other one down to the ground. This goes on until one snake tires, gives up, and leaves. It actually seems like a pretty civil way to settle disputes. Cricket is the one with the darker gray head. And though they seem relatively evenly matched at first, it becomes apparent that Cricket's energy and strength are fading faster than his rival's. In the end, the stronger male chases the now exhausted cricket off to secure a breeding opportunity with a nearby female. But there are many females in a healthy population, and most males get multiple opportunities to breed in a year. About a week later, cricket located a different female, and without any competitors to challenge, successfully mated. This female won't become gravid until the following spring, and won't give birth until that summer or fall. For these rattlesnakes, reproduction is a long process, and we've only seen the first half of the effort they put into securing the next generation. Stay tuned for our next installment, where we look at the incredible effort put forth by timber rattlesnake mothers.